so development department will develop test department will testing and of course the development department will be uh, developer will do, do, did their unigeny test and even though the client side testing also you can do it and the installation department will be configure the you you as they done your specification you could just give it to the script or some application the properties file they will override it uh, the, based on the where they try to install the pc and then deploy the application into the into the client machines or thousands, thousands of hundreds of machines to or even though they can install the the applications into the cloud platform and meaning that they will connect with the database or backend servers doesn't matter with backend server they are to completely change the just change the your configuration that's why you already talk about the previous screen cards just like here you set it to all the configuration that that this is the redis base and and this is as you set all the script here and then just the installation department or you are if you are working as a full stack developer then you can just simply change which port is free where is java located and then this is one of the approach and where which pc you try to install and then simply copy paste the your you deploy it or you job versions the new version and then pc which environment you try to install it and then the kind of cluster names database connections and then where the kind of database connection pc is located and then so on and so forth and after that if you define your all the variables the user variable or system variables i would say and then after the run the very simple jar files commands so everybody knows how can you start the standalone jar files so java jar and put it all the necessary information that's one that i said i will show you when i uh, when the development testing and configuration done and then when you start the deployment the application i will try to deploy the locally local environments but in this is still the same thing just you need to be changed here just like here the which prefix you need to set and it's the and then respected a port and ip address and then uh, database connection informations and the version number that's all the so installation department or you are responsible to change this part of the informations like that and then you just run the application and its paper application should work automatically so go back to the presentation that's what i we are so we already talked about this one so now we are continuing the we have get the basic code operations and game fire operation necessary operations just like this is template so this is the architecture that we are talking about so we have is the game fire the backend server or in the database so and then uh, this is user registration it's not wrong sorry it has to be the service center rest api the custom api so this meaning is so you see the the customs you 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 have backend installation or that means you need to back uh, game fire installation in locally or the installation pcs you need to install there and then get the uh, connection configuration information and set the connection configuration externally and override the information that's right. so you expose the the service and um, service center rest apis and then uh, after when you expose or you install the rest apis and then the uh, font and user uh, font and this is the most important way you need to be understand the font and user doesn't matter which font and technology the you are using or the your client is required or, or your project is required depending you have a font and technology like java based font and technology you can use the font and like meet the time leaf or free marker or gsf or zfs or, or other font java based font and or grades even though you can use it for, for building the font and if you are working with the uh, javascript based any frameworks like angular react or, or view and then so on doesn't matter so if you have a rest services the apis rest apis that you simply depend which font and technology is really independent so if you have a service that means as as a, as a application as a as an api developer or microservice developer or middle layer or backend developer you just expose your apis you just put it there your apis install the apis the font and developer are calling this your api build their font and that's the that's i said this is the microservice based applications that means if you look for the one example like amazon or google or ebay or paypals the one single page maybe there will be the micro 15 or 20 microservices called to build on the single web page and that's that's the things 
you need to be handled like so you have so really microservice deployment microservice configurations then font and user just call the microservices and build the font and doesn't matter which font and technology you are using java based or c based or python based or, uh, or javascript based frameworks doesn't matter which font and you try to use it it's clearly independent uh, with uh, your backend machine or backend apis and that means your microservice apis and it's it's independent if you have a microservice and then decide uh, the client or your company okay we go to with the uh, microservice uh, javascript based frameworks to build the front end or ui or uh, gui or some companies say okay we have another project some client says we javascript based some client says the the mobile platform maybe this is another case just you have microservice just call the mobile platform and then android or ios doesn't know native uh, native mobile device or, or any smart device you just call it build your font and technology because you already did your logic in down level the api level and the backend level and the font and just call it build the font and that's the really i said just follow the, the my channels there's a there's a, some some uh, some some uh, screen cut about how can you implement or consume the rest api with the javascript and the theme arca and then and then and then also the also the yeah, react angular so if you go to the channels i have already here some let's see some some example that i will try to show you so if i go to the my channels you have see the some font and technology with the time leap speak boot and then uh, with the uh, node.js uh, angular and typescript based and that is with the uh, the some some application with the, um, the jsp the older technology jsp and time leap jsp and then glaze technology which you can build a very quickly font end and then consuming the rest api that we try to expose and then free marker also the font end technology so that means i have the mixtures like java based and grails based grails Groovy based and even though javascript based frameworks to build the stories and we are continuing for the mobile platform maybe the next month will come in some screencast about how can you integrate those apis that you try to expose or those your apis how can you implement the Font and as the mobile applications for nowadays there is a really highly demand for the mobile platform the application development meaning you have a microservices the apis and just simply call the microservices build your font and technology doesn't matter device the independent so it's a, you can run it mobile devices smart devices laptop or web application doesn't matter so that's the idea so one of the big things that I said in the architectures like this, the the things that there's a lot of microservices you need to be monitor and visualize the, your log information, how the application works and how the performance works. I had a videos here, the screencast number eighteen about how can you monitor your microservices. Please follow the 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 monitoring the microservice tutorials. That's many example how can you if you have a like like 10 or 15 or 20 microservices using for different web phone web web application developments then you need to be implement those they need to monitor those microservices how it is works how the request response time how the matrices look like uh, with them and then how the request and response time for each of the http request and all sort of information you can handle this way so if you go to the screencast number 18 you get the how can you monitor the microservice even though how can you monitor your web applications like with uh, with the spring boot actuator and then and then um, and then uh, micrometer and then also the uh, on the uh, so the gafana and gafana and then the prometheus tools to, to to monitor the 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 application that's i mean so my you see the micrometer application microservice applications and then the, the spring boot actuator micrometer prometheus and gafana with the docker containers this you can follow how can you monitor your microservices and visualize graphically and see how the performance your microservice so just follow that one so go back to the presentations what we have what do we cover so this is the architecture they got the idea and this is our data data structure the data requirements uh, from from the from the projects you said uh, 
uh, address location information need to be handled like geographical address location where they are providing the service